All right, here's another one. This one is called in television amico new gameplay trainer my freaking reaction he's already being biased with the title of the video he's already biased oeb pete classy gaming fun first time watching this let's go i'm doing the arm swing left right left right left right left right dun, dun, dun. Pete's here with a live reaction. Well, this is my live reaction to the new VIP. This is your cucked, biased, overly exaggerated reaction. Pre-order announcement game trailer for Amico. I am super excited. Let of course you are super excited. You're super excited to Scamroni fed you his pepperoni. And now that's all you're thinking about is channel growth. Let's watch this bad boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Yeah, see, he's just already cocked right from the beginning. There's no way he's going to be critical about anything. He's just going to constantly shill for the stupid mobile shovelware games. And I can't wait to see the games that are being shown. Every game that's going to be shown in this video is going to be absolute trash. Here we go. Incomplete. Okay, it says on the... This is what it says on the screen right now. An early work in pro... Hold on, let me rewind that. It said... Incomplete early work in progress gameplay demos. Exactly, guys. They're just demos. Nothing was complete. Everything was incomplete, and it's still incomplete. To this day, nothing has been actually finished. Everything's a work in progress. They just did the bare minimum for every single game so they can show you cucked investors so that you can put more money into it so Scamaroni can sail off into the sunset with your gold coins. Complete and early work in progress. Oh, okay. Is this Echo? A correction, it's Dolphin Quest, okay? Got a dolphin. Holy snap, that looks gorgeous. Of course it looks gorgeous to him. It, it's literally Unity flipped assets that you... When you make a game and, and the game program, it's when, when the program on the computer to make the game has its own graphics that stored in there, like free of charge, um, you know, licensable, whatever, like free, that's exactly what Dolphin Quest is. It's the most basic rundown graphics I have ever seen. Of course, OEB Pete, this lunatic's gonna be excited about that. Safe cracker. Oh, I got advertisements. Oh, that Safe cracker, what the hell is safe cracker? I have never heard, this is probably the only time they mentioned safe cracker. What, what is this, a cracking a safe with the controller? Oh, safe cracker. Pool, he shows pool. Pool, one of the worst games I have ever, the worst, I remember playing this. Um, I remember playing this in grade seven and grade eight in computer class. I, what was that site called? Candy Candyland Candy Candy something dot Candyland dot com, where they had flash games online, and this was the pool game. I swear. Get rid of the advertisement. All right, this is this is sweet. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. They're showing, he's showing that stupid car game where you're going in circles. Not the car crashers one, but the other one where you're. I've, I, I know I've seen this in the arcade, like a um, 16-bit, 32-bit version of it. I can't remember what it's called. It's like, who cares? This These have been done. The, the worst graphics. Look at the landscape. It's all washed out, brown, crappy graphics. Look at the car. This looks like RC Pro-Am. Holy crap. Man, it looks amazing. No, it doesn't. I'm so excited. This is awesome. Shark, shark. I've never played this game. Okay, so we got two water games right away. Where's the shark? Holy crap. Shark, shark, just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous is shark, shark. Absolutely ridiculous. It's the worst. Like, they didn't even properly edge out and properly smooth out the graphics. You can see the pixelized graphics of this mobile shovelware game. I have seen better graphics on actual mobile games than this shark, shark, which is on a $400 foot bath made of plastic with the cheapest 2006 cell phone chip in it and you got a stupid laggy controller with the cheapest uh bulk bargain buy from china the, ch the chips are like friggin eight cents per chip when you buy them in bulk and you're paying so you're paying 180 bucks for eight games that are complete trash 180 plus friggin 375 that's 555 i think 
And that's how much you're playing before tax in Canada, in, in the province I'm in, 30% pro, 30 tax, 575 times 1.13. Do the friggin' math on your calculator. And that's what I would be paying if I listen to some scumbag cuck like OEB Pete and his faked enthusiasm about these stupid shovelware games. Holy shit, holy snap, look at this, man. I want to I wanna play a dolphin. Okay, this is beanbag toss or corn cornhole. The game where it started off using the controller to actually, when you would swing the controller in in cornhole, it would calculate the distance, acceleration, velocity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then you have that lunchtime video that Scamaroni made on the Intellivision channel. That's that special lunch the company had, right? And then he's in there where he's with Pirate Ship Alvarado with his curly mustache, explaining the fact that cornhole didn't work properly with the controller. So now you just have to preset your distance, preset your velocity, pre preset your power, and then you just you just swing the friggin' controller to because it's reading an accelerometer input no matter what and it's just gonna swing the cornhole was the whole the whole point of cornhole was take advantage of that laggy controller that all you amico cult cucks were, were were harping on was saying this is the best thing ever this controller and then cornhole doesn't even use the controller in the end it's just complete trash all the way around cornhole this is gonna be great to play with the kids. I can't wait to play this. this then go to friggin' Home Depot, OEB Pete, you cock. Buy a co buy a piece of wood, varnish it, friggin' cut a hole in it, get some bean bags from the fr friggin' Dollarama. The same place you go to buy your stupid Pokemon and hockey cards for your pack opening Pete, where you're acting like a lunatic saying my sweetness to every comment that commented on it. Go buy a set of cornhole and go play with your kids in your backyard. You're gonna save about four. You're gonna save about five hundred bucks, and you're gonna have more fun, and you can do some physical activity. Be super fun! Oh my gosh, I've seen this one before. This is this. Oh, here comes Astros. Oh my God, look, new levels. Holy crap! Astro trash. It's not new levels. They just put a friggin' a background. Uh, he Scamaroni probably searched on Google. Uh, you know, uh, jungle starry background, and he probably got this cartoon friggin' picture, and he just bought the license and just pasted it on this Astro Smash background. All, Astro Smash is basically the same thing, and all they did was just change the background like six times. That's it. That's the easy. A kid can do this. You have Hater Smash, which is which was made in one day. That was released on the Intellivision Amico Reddit page. That was done in one day, and you're telling me they couldn't finish Astro, Astro Smash in four years and after $17 million? Astro Smash, awesome! This, oh, cool. Two players. This is great. OEB Pete is just so cocked. He's such a fake, enthusiastic piece of trash. Of course it's going to be two players. It better be two players. For God's sakes. This game has come a long ways. I love to look at this. Is this Slot Racers? Oh, the Car cra Crashers game. I it, it was either this game or it was skiing where Cyrus Martin the Thumb said that his mind turned into Swiss cheese looking at this uh, game. I, I, I'm trying to think it's probably the car crashers game because the cars are going in a very circular lunatic way. So I'm pretty sure that's what he meant when he said his mind turned into Swiss cheese because everything's going in circles all around the place that his mind couldn't handle it. And then he got friggin' DJ Cuck, that fat piece of trash saying that his jaw dropped to the ground, seeing Finnegan Fox mobile shovelware graphics. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, cool! A tank game! A tank game! Awesome! Like, Okay, how many times have you, in your lifetime, owning a smartphone, having a laptop, a tablet, how many times in your life have you seen a tank game, tank versus tank, and then you have this brown hue background in the background, and tanks are driving around shooting each other? How many times have you seen this type of game in your lifetime? I have seen this probably thousands and thousands and thousands of times redone in different ways. This tank tank game that you see, there are better versions of this on your phone right now with better graphics, okay? So this, like you just, and then you friggin' have Scamaroni and Pirate Ship Alvarado, they release a friggin' Tank Tank gameplay let's play on their channel. Then it's, then it's found out by Goose that they just stole the graphics 
for from uh, from uh, the World War II uh, tanks, uh, the the real World War II tank in history class or whatever. They stole that graphic. They put a friggin' red hue or blue hue over it in like Photoshop and then called it a day. Then Scamroni privates the video, releases a new video, privates that one, releases a new one, and privates that one. And then you have friggin' that's the time when Scamroni changed from CEO to CFO. Like, it's just shady business all around. And what was it for? For that treasure chest found in, in friggin' Irvine, California at the end of the rainbow, that golden pot of gold in that dreaded state of California with all scumbags. That's what it was all for, just to get that money from all you cucks. On that, awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm, this is amazing. What is this game? Oh, the friggin' uh, Dino Blaster, a.k.a. Great Value Bomberman. How many bom- I would rather play the friggin' Bomberman that's on Arcade or Neo Geo. I'd rather play Bomberman on my phone than to play 20 bucks for this and $400 for a foot bath with a controller that doesn't work. This bomb- this Dino Blaster is literally Great Value Bomberman. It's the most cheapest version of Bomberman you can think of. Marble Madness? I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many- <laughs> Okay, so okay, just listen to listen to listen to OEB. This is awesome. This is so cool. He's creaming his pants watching Pong. Pong. Friggin' you put a background of a basketball court, you put a background of a hockey rink, whatever. He's laughing and so excited about seeing Pong on the Intellivision. Pong! Pong, the first game that was literally ever made for all you boomers out there listening to this. Pong, and he's creaming his pants on over Pong. Oh, oh my gosh. It's embar- oh. Look how embarrassing this gameplay is. It's the worst gameplay I've ever seen. Pong, it's the most trashiest done by a child in a third world country developed. Gosh, this is awesome. It's like a football, but it's <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Listen closely, recording. Oh, oh my gosh. Go back, go back, go back. I go back for the bike game. Oh man, the differences in the graphics are awesome. He's looking at Evil Knievel. The Evil Knievel, which you can play right now. It's online. It's not even an exclusive game. They just basically bought the license to Evil Knievel and said just sh- shove it on the Intellivision and be like, here you go, here you go, folks. Here's your here's your 17 million that you invested. We just took another game and probably changed one feature and called it exclusive. OEB Pete, you piece of trash. If you're so excited about Evil Knievel, go play it right now. It's available right now online, right now. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. You don't have to wait four years for a foot bath to release. You don't have to wait for Scamroni to release a video saying it's 99% ready on the launch pad. You don't have to wait for that. Just play it right now. Oh, this is the dice game? Farkle. Farkle. Uh, uh, where you throw the dice, it, it, there's like a second of lag, and then the dice friggin' appears on the screen. And then Scamaroni, that piece of garbage, that greasy leprechaun, made up a lie saying, oh, we're trying to emulate the fact that when you throw dice out of your jar, it takes a while for it to hit the ground. Well, it doesn't take that friggin' long. Oh, my gosh. Oh, skiing. Skiing. It's not, oh, my. Oh. 10 Levels of Skiing, a.k.a. My Mind Turned to Swiss Cheese by Cyrus Martin. 10 levels of skiing with no difficulty. You cannot change the difficulty. It's the same trash. You're, how, how many times have you seen a game where you're some sort of object going downward and you just have to steer it so that it avoids all the obstacles? How many times have you seen that? All they, they did the exact same thing here, but they just used the friggin' skiing mountain landscape just, just to be like, we're so different. 10 levels of skiing. Hans Ippish friggin' riding a camel in Egypt while we're here friggin' looking at 10 levels of skiing. Holy snap! That is so cool. Oh my gosh. This blows away my expectations. Oh, you see. This, okay, so you got Cyrus Martin saying his mind turned to Swiss cheese looking at skiing. And now you got OEB Pete, this lunatic, saying that this blows away all his expectations. It's friggin' the most garbage shovelware trash I have ever seen. And it's blowing away... OEB Pete's expectations, the guy who has a bunch of Switch games and a bunch of toys behind him, like a friggin' child. He's gonna stick the landing, stick the landing! Yes! Nice! Well done. Oh my gosh, like this is blowing away my expectations. 
Like it's such faked enthusiasm. It's why is it that people are allowed to fake their enthusiasm and we can't do anything about it? But when there's people being critical about the thing, then it's like, oh, you're a hater. Oh, why do? We, why are you such a hater? Why are you being critical? No, why is he being so enthusiastic for a piece of trash game that anyone, any child can make in a third world country? Literally blowing away this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's going to be me and Ratatouille. That was Amico Charades, a game that's available right now to play. Did I just see Ratatouille? Oh. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! 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 That he was just saying, oh my gosh, to Cloudy Mountain. Cloudy friggin' Mountain. The game where one demo was shown, one stage was probably created, and that game hasn't been complete in years and hasn't been worked on in friggin' years. Cloudy friggin' Mountain. The one game which everyone was like, oh, I, Mike Molest, I remember Mike Molest saying it on his garbage next level podcast. I can't wait for Cloudy Mountain. Everyone's just like, Cloudy Mountain, Cloudy Mountain. Scam Rooney knew that you guys were cucked over Cloudy Mountain. So all he knew was just to make one small demo, one small stage, one like literally 10 second clip of Cloudy Mountain. And that's all that's needed to get you guys to reach in your pocket and invest money into this. That was the whole goal was to get money. Now he's showing Moon Patrol on the screen. Oh my gosh. You guys remember Brett Weiss, the Crypt Keeper, Brett Lies, trying to play trying to play a friggin' Moon Patrol at that one event, couldn't even get past the first half of the first stage. How ridiculous trash is Brett Weiss? Brett Weiss, the one who calls himself, he had a he had a he had a professional video game career. That Brett Weiss, the guy has a book reviewing games. I, I, I don't know if it's NES games or SNES games. Why the hell would you want to listen to someone like Brett Weiss's opinion on games when he can't even pass the first half of Moon Patrol? What an absolute lying, e-begging piece of trash. Sure, that was Cloudy Mountain. I just saw, oh my God, look at this level in Moon Patrol. Holy f I would rather play the original Moon Patrol on the original in television. That is actually more satisfying than trying to play this clunky uh, Unity flipped assets uh, shovelware garbage laggy controller game. Freak me out. Oh, awesome. 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 Can't wait for this one. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I've never been so excited. Oh my. No, when you listen to OEB Pete, are you truly believing his enthusiasm? No, he's a fake, lying, e begging piece of trash that has members only, like Retrobro, who has members only, so you can pay $1.99 to Retrobro to watch him play a shmup for a couple hours. What a piece of garbage. Now, OEB Pete creaming his pants over Intelligent Miko footage. It's been five years, and now he's moved on to Evercade shilling, classy gaming fun, and pack opening Pete. Gosh, this is awesome. <sighs> Thank you, Amigo. I have to. I have all of those games. That was awesome. Thank you for watching. I get it. Well, you do have all those games, actually. They're called physical products. They're not games. They're physical products. And it even says in the disclaimer on the website, when you tried to buy the physical products, it even said that these are physical products. That disclaimer basically means that there's a hope and there's a chance that these can become games later on. But don't get your hopes up because Scamaroni and, and Greasy Leprechaun Scamaroni and Pirate Ship Alvarado is in the Cayman Islands right now with all the friggin gold coins living it up and laughing it up and just having a good time oh my gosh I gotta put this video up I gotta share it with the world this is awesome I'm so excited thumbs up now I've got to order all these games when they come out you got friggin DJ cock ordering three packs of eight how many how many packs of the uh, physical products that DJ Cuck that moron cuz he thought that these were going to be rare and valuable in the future. He bought like 3 4 packs of the friggin um 8 pack 8 games and then he bought like 2 or 3 pre-orders of the system. What a piece of trash. Rab Retro Advisory Board. That snake fat East Coast mouth rat face looking piece of garbage. This is going to be awesome. And that's it. That was my review. This OEB Pete, what a piece of garbage. If you're listening to this OEB Pete, you are a scumbag for fake enthusiasm just because you thought Scamroni was going to grow your channel. Peace.